What would you do if a child showed up at your doorstep at night? Posted to TikTok by Shane King 85 who said it was from his neighbor's security camera. This ring video was captured at 3.30 in the morning. The video looks outside onto the front doorstep. A young girl in a nightgown walks up to the door and knocks, looking into a side window. It appears she is alone, although some have said they see someone lurking in the darkness behind her. After peeking in at the other side of the door, the girl runs off after an alarm detects motion. She wanders into the darkness. Most everyone in the comments tells the TikToker to call 911. Others think that it could have been a setup. Was this girl in trouble of some kind? Or was someone nefarious using her as a decoy to try and break into the home? It's certainly a scary thought in my opinion. But maybe it's neither. Perhaps it was just a case of ding dong ditch. Is this phantom nurse here to heal you or to hurt you? Published by Luan Mendez in May of 2020, Luan and his crew are exploring an abandoned hospital whose staff hasn't really left. Wandering the halls, they seem to turn down one hallway where they seem to spot something skulking in the darkness. Luan! The thing must have disappeared, so they move on, continuing in their search, and that's when they see her, Nurse Ratchet. They race away as fast as they can, and one of the crew falls unexpectedly to the ground. It almost looks like he was clotheslined by something invisible. The crew manages to make it out of the hospital alive, and that's no thanks to the creepy phantom nurse. This witch is up to no good. Published by Zona Paranormal Vera Cruz in December of 2021, this scary video starts with a flash. While in this graveyard, the man appears to have happened upon a ritual being performed. A figure is speaking and making this fire come to life. Later, amongst the mausoleums, the man hears that strange voice again in the darkness. <laughs> Followed shortly by a high-pitched sing-song voice. <laughs> The man then falls forward hard, pushed by an unseen force. He sees a ghostly figure from a distance approaching him. And then it's too close for comfort. <laughs> The fire is blazing again, and upon approaching the fading flames, the cameraman sees a witchy woman hunched over departing. Señora, señora, solo vengo a explorar, no vengo a hacer daño. Allá adentro, allá adentro una sombra, allá adentro una sombra, allá adentro, allá adentro. What sort of ritual was this witch performing? This cameraman might find out in his days to come. If you've ever worked night security, human activity is likely the most you've ever had to worry about. Working security in India is another story. Published by World of Wildlife and more in January of 2018, this security guard couldn't believe his eyes when he encountered a big cat roaming the Mumbai neighborhood at night. Captured at nearly one in the morning, Morning. The security guard is seen sitting on a plastic chair, probably trying his best to keep awake. 
The street is quiet. Just as the car approaches, so does an enormous leopard. The big cat looks like he's aiming toward the guard, but as he sees the car's light, the leopard rushes across the street instead and leaps up and out of sight. Wrapped in a blanket, the security guard goes to check it out, likely thinking he dozed off and was imagining things. After looking for the cat for a moment, the security guard walks off camera and returns with a big stick. The video ends before viewers see if he was forced to use it, but hopefully the leopard didn't stick around. The man was lucky the car showed up just in time. He could have been that leopard's lunch. What do you make of the creature in this creepy video? Published in June of 2017, a car is driving through a desert when it slows to a stop. Some animals appear in the area near a fence. From far off, they look like they could be anything. Cows, dogs, the video is unclear. But as the camera zooms in and the car backs up and then turns around to get an unobstructed view, we see that at least one of the creatures looks like something from a horror movie. It almost looks like a humanoid doing a bear crawl, but I can't imagine a human being able to pull that off. For as long as this creature does, the way it moves is not characteristic of any animal. It's unnatural. The creature continues on trotting alongside the other animals. Is this human, humanoid, animal, or some other unknown? It definitely is something I've never seen before. This eerie video has me doing a double take, published by Spot You Like in April of 2008. This scary clip is filmed outside the stunning York Minister. The bells are ringing and the cameraman is taking it all in. He scans the cathedral and then starts walking toward it. A shot later, he is continuing on his way down a narrow shop lane. While the bells continue to sound, shops line either side of the street. But watch what happens in the upper window to the left. The cameraman zooms in on the ghostly pale face of a small child looking out the window. The child's eyes are dark and inky, and its face mask-like. As the camera zooms, the child disappears. The uploader notes that the house is called the Belfry and was built in the 17th century. Some in the comments claim to have stayed there and say that it has seriously spooky vibes. Is this the thing putting out those vibes? I'd say it's a pretty good chance. Nature can be beautiful. It can also be gruesome. Published by Rex Schaller in July of 2019, these unhappy campers had some fearsome creatures stalking their campground at night. The scary footage shows a man peeking his head outside his tent, only to spy an enormous lion creeping past. He quickly re-zips the tent flap, turns off the light, and lays flat inside the tent. This seems to alert another lioness who leaps through the ropes of the tent area while the big lion calmly looks on. The pair of lions stalk past the tents. The lion paces back and forth, eager for their meal to be plated, while the lioness reclines, waiting patiently. After a moment, another massive lion shows up. For some reason, one of the campers keeps peeking his head out of the tent, which disturbs the big lion who manages to knock the roof's cover down over the tent flap. The lions continue to stalk them, even pawing at the tent aggressively and pulling on the poles with its massive claws. The lion grows more and more aggravated and aggressive. Finally, the pair appear to become bored and wander off into the night. Many in the comments say these campers were lucky the lions were only curious, not hungry. Others note how the zipper somehow gave them a sense of security, when that was probably never the case. One thing's for sure though, these unhappy campers didn't get a wink of sleep that night. If you hear something outside, don't go investigate. You might not like what you find.
published YouTube in July of 2006. TCAN456 writes, Just watch, but not before you go to bed. Take his advice. In this home video, our friend, who is clearly scared judging by his breathing patterns, looks around his house after hearing something and then heads outside to investigate. He passes a large potted plant as he turns a corner. Nothing appears to be there, but when he turns back, a figure flees from behind the plant and races into the darkness. The cameraman runs after it but quickly loses the creature. He searches along some thick hedges in his backyard and soon faces the plant man again. Instead of searching him out further, he races inside, locking the door behind him, runs to his room, locking that door too and gets in bed. All the while there is banging. <laughs> although it's not clear where the sound is coming from. The rest of the video is nothing but a black screen, one upon which you keep expecting a jump scare to surface. Don't worry, the fear is over. But my questions about this video remain unanswered. This clip calls into question whether or not there's life on Mars. According to Redditor GamersGen, this video was captured by NASA's Curiosity rover over Mars. On the 23rd of August 2012, GamersGen linked an AI-enhanced version in 4K to the post. The video is actually a series of photographs, so the rate at which it appears to fly is inaccurate. Regardless, the photo series shows an unknown flying device moving over the horizon of the planet's Barrett landscape. It flies to a point where it hovers overhead for a moment before moving off and out of sight. Well, of course, many call fake in the comments. Others claim it could be part of something larger. However, our Redditor throws down some math, noting that the rover supposedly takes a photo every five minutes. If this is the case, it's pretty unusual that nothing changed on the planet's surface, nor did the light or rover shift in that amount of time. Logical, but then again, X-Files advises us to trust no one. What's more terrifying than your child staring at something invisible in the middle of the night when you hear someone talking to her? Posted to the ghost subreddit, El Soto 14 explains, Everyone was asleep in the house, but something told me to check my daughter's monitor. She was sleeping, then sat up and stared at the door. The Redditor is wondering what the strange noise might be at the 10 second mark of the recording. There seems to be a consensus in the comments that the voice says the word listen. Others say it just sounds like a frog croaking to them. The Redditor notes that her daughter doesn't remember anything from the incident. Whatever the voice is saying, if it really is a voice, the girl sitting up, seemingly aware of the presence, in and of itself is terrifying. When unexplained shadows fall, your only recourse is to search for an answer. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Sammy Sam 1870 writes, It was 2.06 a.m. and there was no one walking around, nor were there any cars in sight when this mysterious shadow strolled across my security camera. The following day, I tried to figure out where it could have came from, but found no explanation. The security camera footage shows a black shadow cast upon the ground, moving across the screen. As the Redditor explains, nothing visible in the area is casting the shadow. So do we have a shadow figure on our hands, or is this just a bug caught at a weird angle? This video posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Exploring with Eric is another random Randonautica adventure. Only this adventure took its victim somewhere that no one would choose to end up, the abandoned site of a witch's ritual. Eric writes, Myself and Veronica unexpectedly found a ritual site and it was beyond disturbing. Directed by the app into the middle of nowhere at night, the pair wander through the wilderness to the random destination set out for them and arrive at an old rocky structure that looks like it's been around for a good while. The abandoned site is littered with recognizable graffiti alongside symbols that aren't so recognizable. Although the place appears to have been frequented by others, these others may not have all been innocent random radonauticers or taggers, but rather more nefarious individuals. After exploring an enormous empty tank outside, they head inside the stone structure. 
This is where things get freaky. Inside is a bizarre and creepy site. Encircled by a red ring with votive candles surrounding it, they discover a piece of paper scrunched up on the floor. As they attempt to unfurl it to see what's written, they keep hearing things. Veronica says it sounds like someone laughing. They decide to leave, but they take the paper with them. Once in the car, they open it and find the message is written in Spanish. According to YouTuber Luisa Gutierrez, it reads in English, It's a trap. My spirit Marlene here. Please say my name three times. There also appears to be a date at the end. What does it all mean? Eric and Veronica may have just cursed themselves. Basements are built to house all the evils of the world. This basement is no exception. Published by YouTuber Mr. Vujade in February of 2012, this frightening basement monster will scare the living daylights out of you. The short clip sees our protagonist heading downstairs into a creepy dark basement. As he slowly searches the space, it appears empty. Apart from a few piles of storage items, some bicycles, the usual suspects in a basement. But then suddenly he turns, which is when he is confronted by this. I'm never going down there again, the YouTuber writes. Who can blame him? I don't think I could ever work up the courage to explore that basement. Come out and play. Posted in January of 2014, this poltergeist knows how to have fun. A group of friends are hanging out along a city river at night. As the cameraman scans the area, one of the girls spots it first, a swing swaying back and forth rather forcefully on its own. The night is still, the wind barely moving the leaves in the trees, and yet this swing is moving with energy. As Lex Cotton writes in the comments, The thing is moving too fast to be pulled by strings or the wind. Who then is moving it? And do you want to play? I sure wouldn't because it looks like this is the work of a nefarious ghost. In the depths below, no one can hear you scream. But that's not the case when Redditor JTS4 went splunking in these Georgia caves. Posted to the ghost subreddit, the Redditor writes that their GoPro recorded screaming in the darkness that they never heard in person. Moreover, he says that the caves were very quiet. So quiet, you can hear a pin drop. As other Redditors note, the distant scream heard literally sounds like one from a horror movie. It's clear in the clip that the Redditor didn't hear it, as he continues to navigate through the cave, talking nonchalantly to his audience. While most agree that this is super freaky, others suggest it might not be paranormal at all. Redditor Brule's Rules for Your Health writes, Reminds me of a feral hog sound. They used to go in caves near my grandma's house and get trapped inside. Other suggestions include a mountain lion or a fox. Well, some think it could be a woman. The Redditor says the cave is popular, so who knows? But it still doesn't explain why they didn't hear it in person at the time. He also says they were very deep in the cave along an 8 mile stretch that hasn't been fully explored. Could this be the reason why? Ball lightning are luminescent phenomenons usually linked to thunderstorms. The rare anomalies have been recorded throughout history in various sizes, from the size of a pea to several feet wide. The following clip appears to capture this phenomenon. Published to YouTube by Roman Tregubov in August of 2016, the so-called lightning fireball was captured in Russia at the edge of a field. Stormy weather darkens the sky as the fireball moves slowly across the horizon. Surrounded by blue lights, the ball flares up randomly and disappears behind some tall trees but is still visible beyond. Although some are sure this is ball lightning, YouTuber Jason W suggests an alternative theory in the comments, to which others agree. He writes, That's an arc of electricity going across two different phases on a power line. Not that weird, but pretty cool to witness as long as you're far away. The Redditor claims that there are no power lines in this area to validate this explanation, but again, it's hard to tell from this distance. What do you think? Do you agree with Roman or Jason? Either way, this brilliant ball of light would be a crazy sight to encounter. Crazy EVPs and spiritual mists run amok in the haunted Skinner's Tavern. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Paranormal Purgatory writes, 
we captured what looks like a spirit trying to manifest in the doorway. They also captured some insane dialogues with the beyond as they attempted to communicate with the spirits inside this haunted place. See for a little bit. See for a little bit. See if we can hear anything. After an EVP translates a spirit whispering, All pretty I am. A partial manifestation is caught in this doorway. Right in the middle of the entry, you can see a trace of a ghostly mist as the camera pans round. The Redditor doesn't appear to notice it in the moment, as he calmly asks the house at large if he can get a drink. Don't blame him, he's probably gonna need a drink again when he plays this back. If a disembodied voice tells you to leave, you should probably listen. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Mads Entertain, the Redditor was given a warning that might be worth heeding. As he and a friend enter an abandoned house, about one minute into the clip, a creepy old lady voice orders them to leave. They don't leave. Instead, they search the barren house up to the second floor. After exploring, the Redditor is doing his outro when something bangs overhead. If you're new to our channel, again, don't forget to smash that uh, like button, subscribe uh, for new content every Sunday. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. They hurry out of the house, and the Redditor explains that they had to cut, because after hearing that bang, they heard scraping against the walls and the sound of a door opening. Well, the voice had warned them. What did they expect? Well, light can certainly play tricks on us, and on a camera, things can get creepy. Posted to the Ghost subreddit, Garno7 explains that he and some friends were hanging around their campfire near a lake, and one of them captured this on his phone. The clip shows a figure appearing to run from their group of people into the roaring flames, watches the camera pans from left to right. Can you see it? Well, many in the comments say the figure is nothing but a lens flare. A couple Redditors counter that argument. Redditor Patrick RS Ghost writes, At first I thought it was some flare or something due to the transition from dark to light very quickly, but when I looked closer I could see something start to move within the crowd at around the two second mark, almost to the left of the little girl in the pink sweater, right as the camera starts to pan, and upon looking again, I can totally see what this Redditor is talking about. So now I think there's a good chance this could be paranormal, because when you take the time, it seems to sync up. Do you believe in poltergeists? What if you're confronted with video proof? YouTuber Ethan N. Thurrock posted poltergeist activity happening in his office across three videos. In the first video, the office door closes on its own. Some paper towel moves, along with a computer cable followed by a tape dispenser on the desk. Then the computer monitor starts to blink on and off. The timestamp reads 6-9-2015. In the second video in the same room, a toy car moves across the desk to the very edge. The timestamp reads 6-10-2015. It's hard to tell if the last video is in the same room, as it's from a different camera and perspective, but it's filming while someone is in the office. As she's working on her computer, her coffee mug suddenly moves abruptly, spilling some coffee on her desk right next to her electronics. She jumps up to move everything out of the way. If you weren't a believer before, you'd be hard to explain this series of events. Who's there? Your worst nightmare posted by Deadhead Gillies to the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor says there's something knocking in the walls, and we don't have to take her word for it because she has video proof. It sounds like someone is knocking insistently at the door, only there's no one there. She says this is continued for two months, 
She's not the only one to have had such an experience. Redditor Ritual Maniac writes in the comments that the same knocking pattern occurred at a house she once lived in, along with other paranormal happenings like voices, doors opening, running, etc. When they moved everything, including the nightmares and unexplainable bad feelings, all vanished. The Redditor says this knocking wasn't heard initially and just started happening randomly as of late. At one point when her boyfriend lived there, he even heard laughing and whispering. The Redditor said after sending the videos to her grandmother, a pastor was supposed to come and visit, but of course an ongoing event began earlier this year and prevented that. Some in the comments think it's the pipes, others say it's likely a pesky animal, but myself and many others are leaning towards the paranormal. Game of Onions writes, Let him in already. Must be cramped in there. But I wouldn't take that advice. Some haunted places are meant to be left alone. The old Washoe Club in Virginia City, Nevada is one of them. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by I'm the Cat Daddy. This video footage explores the Washoe Club in one of the nation's first industrial silver mining cities of the Old West. Prospectors arrived during the mid to late 19th century in order to stake their claim, and with money came the need to spend it. That's where the old Washoe Club came in, also known as the Millionaire's Club. This was a place where anything goes, with one main entrance and two secret entrances to keep the VIP's secret shenanigans under wraps. The Washoe Club also doubled as a holding cell for the passed away. At least one room did as passed on individuals were placed there until grave diggers were able to properly bury. With such a sordid history, of course, myths and legends are abound. Three ghosts are said to haunt the place. A blonde apparition called the Lady in Blue haunts a spiral staircase. A small ghost girl is somehow lost there. And lastly, a prospector causes trouble around the bar, disappearing drinks that are left unattended and drinking the shots that the bartenders leave for him when they close for the night. This video doesn't show these full-bodied apparitions but does unveil a paranormal incident. As the Redditor explains, he and some army buddies decide to explore the Washoe Club for paranormal activity. He writes, We were told by a few ladies who ran an occult store in Sparks, Nevada to look out for a dark entity named Steve. He apparently likes to close doors in a room called the Red Room. Though not in this video, during an EVP session in the club, they asked for a name and received Steva in response. And that wasn't the ghost's only response. As one of the bros provokes the ghost and asks it to answer them, a nearby door starts to close on its own. The men start screaming and flee the scene. The Redditor says they all felt Steve's presence in the club, and he continued to slam doors as they collected their gear. They also felt their jackets being tugged on and a finger ran up one guy's back. I was thinking you probably shouldn't provoke a ghost like this, and many in the comments agree with that statement, while others who also investigated the club attest to similar paranormal happenings there. Is this place next on your paranormal bucket list? I think I'm gonna stay very far away from this place. This haunting just got a whole lot creepier. Posted by Raymond Powell to the ghost subreddit. The Redditor notes that this is an update on the disturbing happenings in his home. What are these happenings? The video shows some sort of pipe or tube on the counter start to roll one way and then the other. Next, a glass of water is seen disturbed slightly before being pushed clean off the edge. And lastly, a nearby recliner's footstool extends on its own. Many in the comments are completely creeped out by this clip. Miss Miley Moo wrote, At the end, I turned the phone away for the last 10 seconds because I didn't trust it. I definitely wouldn't trust this ghost either. If you're feeling a presence in your basement, there's probably a reason. Published to YouTube in October of 2019, the uploader explains that this was the first footage she captured of a ghost on her laptop with Xbox One Kinect. She says other paranormal things occurred along with the Kinect footage, including her laptop's battery running out of juice quickly and a plastic Walmart bag moving of its own accord, despite no draft being present. 
As the uploader demonstrates the Kinect's capabilities, it shows only her limb movement for a while. When she brings a doll lacking a head and places it on a rocking chair, something appears to be hovering by a bookshelf in the background, something with lime green energy. It remains there for a long while, but when the woman places the baby head on the door, a new Kinect figure appears right next to the rocker, or perhaps the same figure has moved. This time, its energy appears aqua. It remains there active for a very long time and then disappears at one point. When the woman walks past it to sit down on the couch, it doesn't again reappear. It's either about time to move or to throw out that doll, or both. Link and you'll miss it. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Power Startup writes, IDK, what's up with this video? It's slowed down and the voice sounds poorly acted. But when she turns the camera back around, look at the left staircase. As the woman in the video addresses an unseen presence called Joey, the camera pans from a rickety old stair to a darkened window for a moment. It's when she turns back that viewers are seeing something unusual. Redditor Paratrax writes, That's a foot, walking up the stairs, while others agree that it appears on the third step to the bottom near the railing. Is this Joey? If so, he's not in the basement. Lady, he'd be right beside you. This clip is making waves in the Spanish YouTube community, and it's clear to see why. This associated image was posted in July of 2020 by YouTuber Curious Area, and at first, this footage, Seems like nothing more than your average nighttime drive. Spooky lights, empty streets, no one around. That is, until this creepy oblong figure emerges standing on the side of the road. As the car drives slowly past, the figure doesn't move from near the crosswalk. You can't make out its face or any details of its visage, but it does appear to be wearing a long robe. Would this get your heart pumping, or are your nerves made of steel? Yet another Randonautica exploration turned scary. Posted to TikTok by Autumn Johnson, this two-part series will keep you on your toes. Autumn writes that the app first took them to a dirt road leading deep into the forest. At the destination, they searched around only to find the roof of a house sticking out of the ground. When they looked inside, they discovered it was a Native American spirit house. The Ojibwe housed the graves of those passed away in stone structures. Their houses are built to honor their families and offerings are made there. These traditional spirit houses are, more or less, simply grave sites. Some TikTokers remark that it's important to respect these sacred grounds, and that's for sure. TikToker Jack of All Trades writes, So long as you didn't touch anything, you should be okay. But if you did, I'm so sorry for you. Even ghosts get hungry. Published to YouTube in September of 2017, this spirit has got quite the appetite. While a pair films the inside of the shop, explaining in Spanish what was going on, a package of crisps fall from the shelf. As the woman filming approaches it, suddenly it shoots across the floor toward her. She and the dude quickly flee, and who can blame them? Maybe pranking the living really makes you work up an appetite. When ghost hunters are distracted by EVPs, they might be missing the obvious right over their shoulder. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Alex Paranormal TV explains that when this occurred, they were receiving activity in that area via a K2 meter and spirit. He writes, Keep in mind we check around to make sure the location is empty before investigation, and this place is in the middle of nowhere. The footage shows one of the investigators trying to communicate with the afterlife through the spirit box. As he asks the spirit and implores him to communicate, the man filming hears a bang. The other ghost hunter turns around to look over his shoulder, completely missing a full-figured shadow that crosses in the room beyond over his other shoulder. Is this the spirit these investigators are communicating with? If so, he's doing more than speaking. He's come for a visit. What you don't know can't panic you, right? Posted to Reddit, the uploader, Jason Green 3 explains in the comments, on April 25th, 2013, 
At about 9.20 p.m. local time, an unknown object at low altitude flew directly across the Rafael Hernandez Airport runway in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico, causing a delayed departure of a commercial aircraft. Green continues on, explaining that this infrared video on the thermal imaging systems of the CPB DHC-8 aircraft was captured by U.S. authorities. This video is reportedly obtained legitimately by an anonymous source. According to their information, the object, between 3 to 5 feet wide, was flying around various speeds between 40 and 120 miles per hour with an 80 mile per hour median speed. When it entered the water, its speed did not slow down or demonstrate obvious impact, traveling at a similar average speed as it had in the air. Upon entering the ocean, the object spilt, re-emerged for an instant, and then both pieces traveled at the same speed. The Redditor writes that there's no known origin for this object and no clue as to what might travel at these speeds through air and water. At least one Redditor suggests it's a weather balloon, while most others accept that this is an unidentified flying device. What do you think this could be, and are you panicked? Some property owners just can't let go. Posted by Sour Sweet Gone to the Ghost subreddit, the previous owner of this restaurant makes his jealousy known. The security footage shows some employees behind the counter at the restaurant, preparing some paperwork. No customers are present, and that's probably a good thing. Suddenly, a framed picture on the wall falls straight down onto the one below it and flips over onto the floor. One of the workers literally throws his hands into the air while the other jumps, covering her mouth in astonishment. According to the Redditor, the picture that fell was an award for the new owner's restaurant. Is the previous owner sore about their success? Some of the comments suggest the nail or wall fastening fell out or broke, but the Redditor has an answer for that and says the nail was still in the wall and the way it was hung made falling on its own seem unlikely. So what do you think? Broken nail or jealous ghost? I think that's a pretty fair explanation about the nail, so I'm definitely leaning on the side of the paranormal. Eeny meeny miny mo, you don't want this cryptic hand catching you by the toe. Published in October of 2019 by YouTuber Paranormal News, this video has taken Spanish social networks by storm. The clip at first appears sweet. A toddler is hiding on a shelf inside a burrow as her father coaxes her out of there. Watch as a Tales from the Crypt nightmare hand extends out, perhaps luring her further into the darkness. Did a chill just run down your spine? Someone get that baby out of there. This is insanely scary. If you saw this figure standing in your darkened home, would you keep your cool? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Lucky1196 writes, After seeing this, next time I'm not going to turn off the lights in my house. At the beginning of the clip, you can see a shadow cast in the bedroom. At first, you think something perfectly explainable could be standing in the doorway, like a coat rack with a coat hanging on it. However, when the Redditor turns on the light, nothing is there, besides a square burrow up against the wall. He walks closer to the doorway and turns off the light again. The figure appears instantly. He flicks the lights on, moves, and then turns them back off. That's when this shadow started to move too. They flip the light quickly on again, and there is nothing. R -R -I eyes deceiving us? Or is there some deceptive figure here? Whether you believe in ghosts or not, fear can take your breath away. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Tyler12798 explains that he took this video while he was 12 at his mom's office. Tyler writes, There were rumors that a ghost named Kevin roamed the place. One day I recorded this. We heard deep moaning coming from a window. Let's see what happened next. You! Keep it open the door! Keep it open the door! Close it! Open! Now open it! Open! Open! A wooden door kept slamming and swinging of its own accord. According to Tyler, all the windows were closed when this occurred, so it was unlikely to be an issue of airflow. Some in the comments know that they have never captured the other side of the door on film, so there might have been someone behind opening and shutting it. Tyler claims there was no one. 
In the comments, Tyler also writes that when he returned from the bathroom, a sticky note on the door read, Kevin was here. While many insist that outside airflow caused this, we'd like to think it was the Home Alone ghost playing practical jokes. So do you think this has a rational or paranormal explanation? Will you expect to find some creepy stuff in an abandoned funeral home? Abandoned remains are probably not among the usual suspects. Published to YouTube by RNK All Day in March of 2020, the channel writes, We found ashes inside an abandoned funeral home that was condemned due to the funeral director leaving and hiding bodies. It was located in North Carolina. It was closed down in 2012 after client complaints. The funeral home's former owner was put behind bars for not burying the individuals. RNK All Day explores this home and its unnerving history. Amongst the creepy things found inside are Polaroids of the passed on individuals and a squatter's bed made up inside the building. But of course, the most unsettling thing they encountered was a bag of ashes in a torn cardboard box. According to a timestamp on the box, they were from 1995, meaning they've remained there for over two decades. Let's hope they finally received a proper burial. Originally posted to YouTube by Dark Pirate Stories in October of 2020, this haunting clip takes you on a walkthrough of the Church of Ghosts in the Czech Republic. The cathedral is full of faceless statues covered in stone cloaks. Sitting in the pews, the image is unsettling, but it's meant to be. Lying east of Prague in a small town, this place has been around since the 14th century. When the roof collapsed in 1968, it went abandoned. Some said it was haunted. In a bid to restore it, local resident, Peter Kugel, an art student, Jacob Hadrava teamed up with the latter, creating this eerie installation to draw people and interest to the location. It worked. So far, they've been able to repair the roof, and this location continues to get big attention online. Someone is watching you. Published to YouTube by Finders Beepers History Seekers in August of 2020. The channel writes, Matt and Andy are reunited in this week's Creepy Explorer in an abandoned care home that was shut down for reports of terrible living conditions. Although it was shut down, maybe something paranormal stuck around. About 20 minutes into the edited video, the pair are headed up the stairs when they see this. Panning up to the second level, a figure moves across the upper hallway in the darkness. Unbeknownst to Mike and Andy, the shadowy menace was clearly watching them. The pair calls out to the person, but no answer. They consider backing down, but they think there's someone on the bottom floor as well. They decide to take their chances upward, but when they head up there, they find there's no one on the landing. And in fact, that landing where the figure crossed over doesn't even lead to another room. There's no way out. Some in the comments think the figure was the spirit of a former patient or staffer. Open Paranormal writes, I think you just caught some of the best paranormal activity I've ever seen. There's clearly no one around, but you could clearly see a shadow of someone up there. We'd have to agree, this one seems genuine. This ghost sighting will send chills down your spine. Published to YouTube by TechWorld TV in August of 2014, this video shows a haunted Hindu cremation site. A man arrives at this site in India to investigate a local story. According to the man, he was walking down this dirt road when he saw an entity at this place. The investigator explains that passed away individuals are taken there for their last rites. Nobody lives here, apart from packs of stray dogs. As the man navigates around the puddles on the wet road to approach the ceremonial sites, dogs start barking like crazy at a distance. In this place. This place. Then the man shouts that he just saw an entity floating from the building further back. Upon closer inspection of the video, you can see the white vapor the man is talking about. It appears in the darkness under the veranda before floating up and then vanishing. While some point out the vapor moves simultaneously with the camera. One Redditor, Ricky Jaikaran notes, I would have said it was a smudge on the camera if the dogs hadn't started to bark at the same time. What do you think? Coincidence or a spirit ascending? Would you stop and investigate if you captured this on dash cam? 
published to YouTube by Crooked Pixel in September of 2017. This dashcam footage will have you paying closer attention to the road at night. Captured in July of 2012 at 1 in the morning, the video shows a driver cruising down a highway. All is normal until this happens. A white ghostly sheet floats over the road. You can hear the driver take a sharp intake of breath. The sheet is billowing in the wind as it floats upwards in the darkness, but the driver speeds on past it without stopping. Many in the comments think it's CGI. Well, James Brady says, that was a piece of paper or a plastic bag blowing in the wind. What do you think? As a driver, would you stop or accelerate? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Salo Mac and originally published to YouTube by Bike Jin in March of 2020. This paranormal investigator may have just crossed paths with something very nefarious. While exploring an abandoned house, the investigator spies this creepy witchy woman in the hallway. Flames suddenly spark, running down the length of the hallway and flying up into the air in the adjacent room. It then falls in a giant blaze to the floor, burning in a ball on the carpet. For a time, the investigator watches the flames burn. It burns low, but then it bursts again, while the door behind it swings closed and then opens repeatedly. Is this a jinn's doing? Or maybe a witch's? Either way, get the heck out of there. Now you see him, now you don't. Posted by Caligram to the Chills Narrator subreddit. This clip appeared on YouTube's Scary World of Videos in October of 2020. Men in a forested area are just hanging out when a stranger is seen walking in the background. He passes behind a tree but doesn't come out the other side. The cameraman walks towards the tree and circles it entirely, but the man seems to have disappeared into thin air. The camera even pans up to see if he climbed the tree, but there's just no way. Where did he go? One Redditor, Shabba Bull, has the answer in the comments. He went back to the year he came from. Do you think this is the case? Or is this clever editing? I wish I knew for sure. So all I can say for now is I think this footage is definitively mysterious. This creature in the sky is unidentifiable, but it's got six legs. We originally came across this video on the Spanish-speaking scary video community in June of 2019. The thing appears to have a pin head, multiple crab-like legs, and finally wings. As you can see when it takes off from the tree branch it's crouched upon. The creature looks extraterrestrial. It's certainly something nobody has seen on Earth. Whatever it is, you don't want this monster hiding under your bed. We managed to track down the original source, and this turns out to be a CGI creature made by the Nicaraguan YouTube team, JJPD Producciones. So if you come across this video because it's spreading all over the internet, now you know its true origins. These two unidentified flying object sightings are eerily similar. Posted on Reddit by GamersGen, these two sightings from Miami and Beijing are comparative. The first appeared in Beijing on February 3rd, 1995. The unidentified flying object hovers as an illuminated yellow disc in the evening sky. After a while, it starts to glide slowly overhead. GamersGen posts a second video in the comments, one which looks similar to the first but was captured on October 20th, 1995. This unidentified flying object was spotted along a freeway. The driver pulled over to capture it hovering near an apartment complex and then over Miami Airport. GamersGen suggests that today, unidentified flying objects aren't seen as often for a reason. His theory? They have become more cautious and further said, they seem to be extremely aware of us observing them, and above all, they don't want to be compromised. What do you think? It makes sense to me. And these two sightings are certainly quite similar. You don't want this guy popping up in your next selfie. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit, Princess Lena 87 explains that there was no one else in the room when this video was recorded, except apparently this insane red face who popped up behind them. The clip shows two friends recording a selfie video, laughing and having fun. As the video pans right, nothing is behind them, but when it pans left again, 
A slimy red figure appears over their shoulders. Lena shares the screenshot in the comments. While some think it's Snape, others suggest something not from a Harry Potter book, and rather an entity that is quite nefarious. Redditor Analytical Amy writes, It may just be some freakish weirdness, but was there ever a fire close by or in that house over the years? Later saying that it looks like someone who was in the home during something like this. Whether you think this is the case or not, one piece of advice, don't turn around. I believe this video is 100% real, and that only makes it all the more scarier. How would you feel if your CCTV camera caught this? Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by RelevantHole5903. This footage of a woman in white was caught on camera in the dark of night. It shows a ghostly figure in white crossing the grounds outside of a gated building with barbed wire fixed to the top. The stranger walks slowly in her flowing dress until she leaves the camera's sight. Some are suggesting this is a classic walk of shame. Others think the Redditor lives next to some shady stuff, but some are sure it's the legendary La Lorena. If it is, stay clear of water, because the legend goes that she would take your life in the water. Redditor Blues Forever 67 writes, This is one of those instances where I think, what if we see ghosts all the time, but they're so vivid that we just think they're people? I have to agree with that statement. My mind has been blown by this footage. This isn't a gentle good morning. Published to YouTube by C4CAT in March of 2018. This is what happens when an early bird of a ghost is angry that you're not up yet. The video shows a man asleep in bed as window curtains nearly blow, at times pushing the entire curtain to the side. The young man at first remains undisturbed by this. At one point when the curtain is brushed over, you can see something white appear behind the bars of the window. Then an obscure flash of white passes close to the camera. Shortly after, there's a slow disturbance in the man's blanket. Part of it lifts until the entire blanket billows up. It's then ripped off of him by an unseen force. Like a bucket of cold water, this is one alarm clock you wouldn't want to wake up to. A home security camera caught this scary sight in Corvina. Posted by Ruby Gonzalez in December of 2018, Ruby writes, Two individuals tried to enter a home. One knocked on the door and called out the resident's first name several times. The family was home at the time. You can see one of the men approach with his hood up and a kerchief covering his mouth, wearing a backpack. He knocks on the door, waiting with his head down, likely aware of where the security camera is located. A second dude also approaches, dressed in the same fashion. He's carrying a crowbar. They knock a second and third time, alerting a small dog inside. When a car passes, they both turn to look down the street and ensure there are no witnesses. He knocks several more times, saying, Come on, bro. But the second dude eventually taps him on the arm, indicating it's time to give up and leave, which, thankfully, they do. Whatever they came for, they left empty-handed. This girl hears a loud commotion in her sister's room and grows concerned. When she goes to check on her sibling, something huge hits the ground on the other side. Then the door to her sister's room seems to close all by itself. Hello? The scared girl tries to stand outside of the room for some time and simply listens. Finally, she musters enough courage to try again, and this is what she sees waiting for her. Her sister sits stiffly in bed staring ahead while creepy music plays from nowhere. Her room is completely wrecked and she does not respond or say anything at all. Well, I guess this video could be some sort of behavioral problem or even a prank. My gut instinct tells me that this was most likely a real possession. Leo Streetsky claims to have been possessed by a demonic force during the making of these two videos. The majority of the first 20 minute video is simply him glaring at a camera with a demented menacing expression while pacing from room to room. Often he films out the window at nothing in particular, almost as if he is frantically searching for someone to give him further instructions. The few times he does speak, his voice is harsh and strained. During this part, I think he says something like, Exit here now, followed by a maniacal laugh. Exit here now. <laughs>
Again, he returns to the window to look for something only he can see. <laughs> it's hard to say if Leo is faking these videos or really thinks he is possessed. Both of these videos only have a handful of views and are very long, so I don't think he is doing this for attention. A YouTuber named Dillionaire Vlogs is trying his hardest to summon a ghost, and he won't take no for an answer. First, he tries to command the supernatural by force, then he makes fun of them and does whatever else he can think of to get any kind of reaction. Where are the demons at, man? This was taken in 2017 during Irma, and Dillionaire hopes that the electrified atmosphere will somehow help the spirit world connect with his own. Apparently, it works. The camera falls over by itself, and a voice that sounds like Dillionaire clearly says, I'm here. Hello? Anyone here? Dillionaire claims that he was possessed during this part, and made to say this against his will, though I'm not so sure about that. Then again, 134 people lost their lives during Irma, so it wouldn't really surprise me if one of them really did use his body as a conduit to say hello. A YouTuber named Faster Than Pasta is experimenting with a homemade Ouija board, and manages to contact a 44-year-old spirit named Simon. Simon doesn't appear to be very happy about being summoned and interrogated by some kids, so he spells out his displeasure. Uh, do you want to be friends? Um, we're so, we're so sorry. Less than 10 minutes later, Faster Than Pasta begins to look different and feels strange. She looks at her hands as though they are foreign objects, and then her head goes down. Her knees give out and she falls to the ground, woozy. When she recovers, she looks over at her friend Jimmy only to discover that now he is the one acting strange. It seems as if Simon the Spirit is switching between both of them at will. Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, what, what are you doing? What happened? Eventually, Jimmy too passes out with absolutely no recollection of what happened upon waking. Tell me if you think they are really getting possessed or just acting. Parts of this video look pretty convincing, but I can't say for sure. A YouTuber named Tyler Hardy wakes up in the middle of the night, only to find one of his friends standing in the corner with his back turned. Tyler wakes up everyone else and they soon agree that he must be sleepwalking. They're in the middle of laughing at him when they realize, to their horror, that he is not exactly sleeping after all. <laughs> This video is only about half a minute long, so it's hard to tell if he is really possessed or not. That shrieking hiss is definitely a strong indication that he really was, though. <laughs> Maybe if it was a little longer, we would know for sure. A YouTuber named Muzamil Khan records his neighbor having an argument one floor up. Muzamil knows that there is only one person in the apartment, but somehow at least two voices are coming out of the same man. I didn't really hear what he was talking about until this part in particular. Listen to this and tell me if you hear multiple voices panting, breathing, and speaking at the same time. Muzamil keeps recording until his roommate wakes up and shuts the door. Later, he says the police eventually took his neighbor into custody, who by that time had removed his clothes and was acting even more possessed. It's hard to tell from this video whether this man was actually possessed or just under the influence of something, which still doesn't fully explain how numerous voices could come out of one person at the same time. YouTuber Lance Stewart has always had his critics when it comes to his paranormal videos, but in this video, Lance doesn't claim he got possessed, but rather someone else who is just participating. They are doing a Ouija board challenge, and actually managed to capture some interesting paranormal moments, most notably at the 8 minute and 42 second mark, when the camera picks up an unknown voice saying, turn it off. Is it I love you? Yes! <laughs> is the ghost implying that it does not want to be filmed? Maybe this is a warning they should have heeded, because later in the day, well after they are done with the Ouija board, Lance finds his ex-girlfriend Lizzie acting very strangely. She's lying on the bed with her eyes rolled back, not saying a word. Lance sounds extremely concerned when she says it's just a prank. 
Do you think she was telling the truth or did whatever possessed her just want to give Lance a false sense of security? Either way, this video should serve as an example of how you need to exercise massive caution when using a Ouija board. This video could be someone talking gibberish in their sleep or it could be a possession, as uploader Jron2 seems to think. Listen to this part and tell me if you think she could be speaking an ancient language. Things are not conscious. Oh yeah? What does that mean? One person in the comments section for this video thinks she might be saying something like, on the other side of the gods in old Latin, whatever that means. If a second person could verify that this was what she said, then maybe we would know if she was possessed or just mumbling. When Joey Salvatore and his friends learn that their entire neighborhood is rumored to be haunted, they go to the local cemetery and try to get something on tape. They don't really find much and eventually come back home, but it looks like something found them and managed to attach itself to a friend named Roger. Now he is standing motionless with his back to them in a dark room and they are too freaked out to do anything more than secretly record his reflection in a mirror. After a while he sits down and stops moving completely, so they decide to put Roger in his room and check on him later. Roger is nowhere to be found, at least not at first. Wait, turn the light on. <gasps> what the, the f Roger! I'm the they are totally freaking out when Roger comes wandering back into the room completely fine, wondering what had happened. The group feels unsafe at this point and has no choice but to send Roger on his way. Eventually, Roger says that he was just playing a joke on them, but it's unclear if he really means it or if he is just in denial. A YouTuber named Spider Reed doesn't really believe in Bloody Mary and decides to take the mirror challenge at 3 a.m. He spins around three times while saying her name. Immediately afterwards, he gets a very distant look and goes down. Spider Reed doesn't move from the ground for over one full minute. When he finally gets to his feet again, he hardly looks the same as before. He slowly turns around and leaves the room in a dreamlike state, with his eyes still closed. If this is a true possession, then exactly how long he stayed possessed for, or what happened next is unclear. A ghost has no use for a haircut, but apparently that doesn't stop one from haunting a famous barber shop called GQ Cuts in La Puente, California. Caught on security cam is a ghostly guest slipping under a blue gown. Everyone, even the woman getting her hair cut, is nervously looking at the chair, waiting for it to move again, which it doesn't. But hold on, nobody sees the scariest moment of all on the shelf above them. A creepy mannequin head turns towards him while well, he tries to tell everyone what he saw. Thankfully, the moving objects were caught on tape to prove him right. Then again, it could be this fan on full speed that's blowing objects around. A YouTuber named Connor Does Adventure goes exploring a sewer tunnel that's been abandoned in the middle of the desert. They're kind of nervous but also in the mood to see something crazy. Little do they know what horrors are about to get caught on camera. It's a long walk to get to the old pipe and they keep stopping because they think they hear something. It's funny. I don't know why you're scaring us. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, it's not funny. That sounds like it could be a frog to me, but maybe not based on what they see next. What? Dude. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Dude, we gotta go! An extra creepy creature slowly stands upright in a strange pose that looks vaguely human. Dude. Stupid. Why did you stand? 
gotta go. We gotta go. It chases them for a while on all fours and then marches straight towards them. Okay. Dude, he's coming. This is beyond creepy, but it's probably one of their friends in an outfit. Dude, do you think he can get past these gates right here? Well, yeah, dude, look, there's an entrance right there. That's how we... Oh, shoot. Frank! Go! Oh, my gosh! After all, stopping a second time to turn around and record some more doesn't seem realistic. I think most people would be out of there and never look back. Okay, so a YouTuber named Shadow Break wants to know if he's caught a ghost on his home security system or if it was something else. His dog is staring at something in the distance when the door opens by itself only a little bit. No one is touching the door, but it kind of looks like it's being held open. Ten seconds after the door opens, the dog's ears go up. It seems to follow something through the yard, almost like somebody walked out the door and passed the dog. After staying open for almost 20 seconds, the door suddenly pops open open even more for no reason at all. The owners finally take notice and look out, startled, wondering what this could be. It doesn't seem like the wind because nothing else in the video is getting blown around. I can't think of what else besides the wind would make a door open like that, except perhaps a ghost. A YouTube channel called DIY.com decides to do some paranormal investigating at a haunted place in San Francisco called Stow Lake. They're exploring for a while when this creepy statue comes at them from the darkness. Soon they notice that his camera seems to skip frames or twitch as he calls it. Watch the frames skip whenever he passes over their faces. Pastor. Well, you see how it twitches? Yeah. The camera? Uh -huh. Do you I see know. that? Uh -huh. You guys do that again, see? It twitches. twitches yeah. I couldn't really see what they were talking about until they addressed one of the children directly. That's when you can see a major frame loss that's scary enough to make one of them run away screaming. Little girl. Ooh, you see that? <laughs> You can see it again in slow motion. Freaky, right? Something is haunting the lobby of England's Brighton Museum, according to those who work there. This creepy moment caught on CCTV video at 3 a.m. could be the paranormal proof they need to be taken seriously. The camera captures a bright light and then a souvenir mysteriously falls to the ground with no one near. Kind of like a ghost moved the object employees would later say. I think the quote unquote mysterious light could be a glass object reflecting light as it falls over. Maybe the shelf is a little unlevel. Maybe an employee or a visitor put it too close to the edge. I am 50-50 on this one and we'll be sure to keep an eye out for other paranormal events caught on camera at this possibly haunted museum.